Hi guys, so today I have a haul for you, pretty much Nordic wear stuff, so it's very <laughs> niche haul for people who care or like those Nordic wear pans. I'm gonna see about this lighting. And um, I did want to show you the box they initially sent things in, because this is the second and third orders I placed. So I placed a couple orders like within a day of each other. Um, they always have like free shipping over certain amounts or like 30% off if you spend 100 or things like that. So normally, I mean, that's pretty easy to do on Nordic Wear. I don't know if you're familiar with the like bunt pans and stuff like that. So the first time I ever ordered from them was because uh, Bake From Scratch had like a bundle deal and you got like $75 off on top of that. Of, um, and then like 20% off your order of a whole set of bunt pans. And then for the whole year, they're going to be using those bunt pans to make different recipes. And I love Bake From Scratch. They're... Um, Magazine is called Bake Feed, I guess, which is kind of weird because it's Bake From Scratch. There's no, it's not an organization. It should just be called Bake From Scratch. But anyway, um, the Bake Feed, I think, is what their magazine is called. And then every year after the magazine's been out for the year, they do a year cookbook. So everything that was in the magazine, you can buy a cookbook instead, like on Amazon or whatever. Um, or through, what's the publisher? Hoffman Media, I think. Anyway, long story short, um, I love the stuff from them and I want to show you the box because they always package things like ridiculous packaging or right? a lot of paper like material because I guess they're pans and they can hit each other but they're metal pans like I don't think they need to be so wrapped but let me show you first I recently did a review on a pancake pan that makes silver dollar pancakes and I wasn't by the Nordic wear ones on their website they're like 40 bucks um, you know 30% off obviously they're a little less than that like $12 off $28 uh, some of them cost more they have frozen ones now and the frozen ones are never applicable with the discount but uh, what's funny about the frozen ones I'll show you right now is that they have a snowflake one that's just a regular pan that's this one which is literally the one that they did for frozen but it's a little stylized different so I found these on Amazon they were only $23 even including the smiley face one that I had bought and it was like a bunk brand on Amazon that I reviewed. So this is the Nordic Wear one, and it does come from Nordic Wear, I guess, as the distrib... Well, it's not the distributor, because it still came from Amazon. But if you spend $100 of Nordic Wear stuff, they give you a coupon for like $20 off. I didn't really need that many things, so I only got the two pens. So this one was $23, bucks, and it's going to make adorable pancakes. I love it. And this one definitely feels cast iron. And then I got the holiday one, which was like $22. So between these two, I wasn't even close to 50, and I didn't feel like adding more just to get the 20 bucks, right? Uh, with Amazon, you get free shipping. But you know how sometimes they have coupons and it pertains to certain things. So this came from Amazon, obviously one day. Some of the, I think the other pan took two days. And really quickly, just because it was in the same box, I got this professional crepe maker. And you know what? I'll probably review this because I love making crepes. I have another one that you dip into the pan and then you turn it over, and that one's so easy to use. And I bought it, I think it's Cuisinart maybe, but I bought it like, 10 years ago. I got another one at a, um, at, um, what's that thing called? The swap meet. Uh, you know, sometimes they just sell like secondhand things for like $2 and it's so cute. You, um, you still dip it and then you put it back on its little base. It has like a little base like this, but there's a pan that's like upside down. So you dip it and then you put it on there and that's how it heats up and it's adorable from like the seventies and it still works. So, um, I just like making crepes. I've never had the best luck making them in a pan because they're always too thick. And that one you do have to spread out by hand, so I've, that'll be new for me. You have to spread it with that little stick or whatever. Okay, so stuff from Nordic Wear. And some of these things I did order for the season, and I knew I wasn't going to get to them, but I just wanted to have them. So this is a Santa sleigh um, loaf cake or loaf pan, I guess. So it has Santa and the little sleigh there. These are the kind of things I wouldn't decorate. Like here, they kind of put some icing, but. I would just pretty much let it be and do like a glaze. So this is the paper they wrap it in, but they also shove a bunch of paper in there. And of course they're based out of, I don't know, what, what shape is this guy's <laughs> since 1946? Um, the shape of that state is where they make the things. Uh, I totally forgot. I guess I could look on this thing and probably tell me, but um, then we have this cake lip pan, which is a nutcracker. And this one is expensive. I'm not gonna lie. I think they want 50 bucks or $55 for this. But look at these little guys. How adorable. And every year, they do not reduce the price of their pans. You're not going to see it on clearance now because, you know, Christmas is over. They don't care. You want to buy it? It's what it is on Nordic Wear's site. But again, maybe you can find it on Amazon. I hadn't, I didn't have good luck finding anything on Amazon before. So maybe every once in a while they bring some stuff to there. But the Nutcracker Sweets cake like pan. So it makes these guys. And they have this one at um, Willing Sonoma too for the same price. So these guys are super cool. I ordered... Apparently, remember I told you guys I ordered some things in April? My kitchen had just taken a 
big nosedive, right? When the water came in, they had to rip up my kitchen. So I had just ordered some stuff and I never got to it. I put it away in the garage. I don't know what happened to it. I don't even know where they are. So the, one of the things was cookie stamps. So these, basically they have some recipes on their website. Some people say they use it for their snickerdoodles. I tried using a cookie stamp on my snickerdoodles and it kind of, the design went away because snickerdoodles puff up. So that's why I was like, how are you gonna use this on snickerdoodle? But on their website and even on here, they have uh, recipes that you can use to keep them flat, right? So I'm assuming any one of my rollout cookie recipes will probably work. Basically, whatever you do, you just make your cookie into a ball, your cookie dough, roll it in some sugar or cinnamon sugar, whatever complements, and then stamp it so it doesn't stick to your cookie. And these are adorable. So maybe I'll review these too. I grabbed this one. The Yuletide set. I have uh, other ones, but the Yuletide set makes like, these are so pretty. To be honest, I don't even care if they're Christmassy. I'll still use them. So this one's the Honey Bee set, which is adorable. Let me look at that. And then this one's kind of a similar thing, but this one, it cuts out the cookie. It's a stamp, but the cookie cuts out. And some people say, oh, they love it. It works so great. Other people are like, oh, this thing's a nightmare. So I'm curious to see, especially because, you know, they're not inexpensive. But I wish they had more shapes, too, because this is all they have. So they're showing you here how to do it to cut it out. Um, really cute. Goes to the side. <clears throat> oh, I have been eyeing this one for a long time. I have pretty much, I'm like a collector. I mean, I have a lot of their pans. Uh, this is, says from the holiday collection. This is the tea cakes, the holiday tea cakes. And I, I feel like I remember seeing this at Target, but I don't think I bought it. I hope I didn't. Well, this is the other thing. If I did, it doesn't matter. Because if you're making this out of brownies or cake mix, you're going to need probably two of them anyway, or else you're going to have to wait for the one to bake, uh, pop them out, and then use the rest of the mix, right? So, and some things like this, I don't mind having two. Oh, this is a shortbread pan. This is so gorgeous, you guys. Shortbread is one of the easiest things I love to make, and it's just basically butter, flour, sugar. What else in there? Some kind of liquid to hold together. I don't remember. It's just, it's like three or four ingredients. Do they have anything on here? They do have a recipe on the back. Yeah, just like I said. So butter, flour, uh, confectioner's sugar, and vanilla. Because basically that's all that holds it together, and then you just shove it in here. So the liquid is vanilla. Oh, let me turn off my timer. So I'm supposed to go to my husband's friend's house for... New Year's Eve dinner and I'm making potato salad and I'm bringing a David's Cheesecake. Remember I bought David's Cheesecakes? I don't know if you saw the review. And they were huge. I didn't expect them to be that big. So for my little family, like it took us more than a week to eat the first one I got and then I threw away like a quarter of it because I was like, okay, this has been sitting out for a while now and it's way too big. So I was like, oh, this is a perfect chance to use it. So I'm taking that. It's a plain cheesecake and then I'm just going to bring some like cherry topping or something cool like that. Anyway, this is, oh, so cute. So they have this in different shapes. This is the Cozy Village baking pan. And look at the little shapes. So cute. And I love that the pan has detail because like, you know, I mean, they don't have to do that with the little walkway and everything. But that's really cute. And um, there it is. Like I said, I had made two orders, and then this stuff, I was really curious, because a lot of people say to use those cookie presses with these pans, because you basically press it on the pan. And these are their um, Prism Bakeware. So I got these smaller sizes. I got two. I think some of them sold in a set. It might be that one of the cookie presses came with this, because they had kits with cookie press plus the pans. But this is a smaller pan that I want to use in my little, um, oh yeah, what's the thing called? the uh, Wolfgang Puck air fryer convection oven that I have. So I bought two of those. And then I can never use too many, um, you know, have too many <laughs> sheet pans. So I bought two of the larger ones. Actually, you know what? They're supposedly the Naturals alum aluminum bakeware. But they had little prints on them. So this one has the trees and this one has um, ornaments, which is super cute. It's basically just for you to look at and be like, oh, how adorable. Because like, obviously nobody cares. And I don't really know that it's deep enough to etch onto the back of your cookies. But I think that's really cute. So I got those. And then I think the second order is over here. Oopsie. So I wanted to get their cookie book in the first order, and I was like, I don't know if I have it. And some guy had said that he picked it up at Target, but then Target you know, wasn't carrying it anymore. And that he's bought it for gifts because he really likes the recipes. And I do love the recipes. And so I got their cookie book. I think it was like $7, obviously 30% off. Um, and then I picked one up for my sister, and or both my sisters peanut butter cookies, you know, it's cute. And then the best of bunt, why not? Because I have tons of their bunt pans. So I'm like, you know what? 
um, instead of printing off their recipe every time, because on their website they have so many recipes, it's ridiculous. You can find, it's just a <laughs> recipe overload. So for me, it's already here, it has a picture, it's lovely. You know, I saw this with same recipe on their website. So you can get them for free, you don't have to buy their book. Oh, I have this pen. I love this pen, it's so pretty. So anyway, so there's that. And then the Great Breakfast Cook um, book, I'm like, they make breakfast things? So I don't know why, because they do sell pots and pans. But, um, so they have different information here, pumpkin waffles, all kinds of different waffles, potato and leek pancakes. Look at, there's their little pan. So really cute. Orange pancakes with maple syrup. Lots of pancake recipes. Evil Skeevers, they sell the pan to make that, which everybody sells a pan to make that. I used to have a, it's kind of, well, I used to have one. And I, I guess I must have sold it or got rid of it when the move, because I didn't use it that often, but they are cute. Oh, here's the other one. This is geometric cookie stamp, so geo cookie stamp. So the first one I have from them is their other like basic cookie stamp. Um, I don't remember what designs are on it, but anyway, so they have several different ones. Oh, and here's the other. I told you. Oh, no, okay. So <laughs> I was like, wish I had more shapes, more and more shapes. But this is the other one that's a cookie stamp, but it's the one that cooks out the cookie. It's not just the you know the whole round cookie it'll cut out this shape and again if you use a good recipe it shouldn't spread too much and I always chill my dough and then chill it again before I bake it once this the things are cut out so um, that's a good way to keep them from getting misshapen oh and this is totally a utility item I love meatloaf like we love meatloaf in this house so this one was not that much it was kind of inexpensive Really, it's their bunt pans and those kind of things that they sell kind of high, but um, this is the meatloaf pan with a trivet, says, with lift-out trivet, and I always, I don't really like leaving my meatloaf sitting in the fat, you know, so I was always looking for something like this, so it has this, it lifts out, and then your meatloaf is out, and you can cut it really easy, and it's a good-sized pan, I'm sure I can use it for bread or other things, right, so to me, this was no-brainer, I had to grab one, so um, there it is. I have not tried their aluminum products, really, so hopefully... They work well. And here's the season greetings cookie stamp. Um, again, I mean, they have more Christmas things than not of these cookie stamps. And so I'll have to wait for not so much next Christmas because uh, did I say Christmas greetings? I just meant greetings, sorry. Because um, it does have cheers like, oh, that'd be good for today. Maybe I'll make some cookies. Thank you and with love. And I've reviewed stamps like this from Daiso, which are $1.50, right? Um, cookie cutters that had a, like a little word and they didn't spread at all and the re the recipe I use normally you guys if you're interested in about the cookies and cookie stamps or even just making a roll of cookie that doesn't spread too much is from Brookies Cookies and I think if you look at brookiescookies.com it might be a website that's that sells like brownies and stuff but that's not what we're looking for it's b-r-o-o-k-i-e-s and then cookies and I wouldn't say dot com I would just search for Brookies Cookies and then you'll see that she has recipes or maybe say Brookies Cookies roll out recipe, a roll-out cookie, and, and then you'll find our website, and I that's the royal icing recipe I use, it's the cookie recipe I use, so all of that. So basically that's it. I do have a few other things, but um, I'll have to do a separate video, so this will be the last video of the year, which is, you know, I don't know, typical. I love hauls, and this stuff is a little different. Um, wonderful company. Uh, obviously made in the U.S. and uh, from sustainable, supposedly sustainable things. You can look on their website. They have a lot of good information. Um, I did pick up this little cookie cutter set, though, from right after the clearance with uh, Christmas clearance, you know, after Christmas is over. And it has some cute shapes in it. And it was only like five bucks, three bucks. I don't remember. It was super ch cheap. But um, I like the snowman that's in there. And they're nice big cutters. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. And happy new year to everyone. And I will see you. <laughs> My son keeps saying, in the next decade. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye now.